Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with Covert Infiltration. So, we'll be doing Operation Severed Cobra in the abandoned city to delay rapid response and to get two colonel soldiers, a grenadier and a technical. I definitely want them, especially since I lost Red Devil. I don't see anything overly nasty on the enemy list. We got some mechs. We got, uh, no, Andromedon, no Sectopod. Heavy mech. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. The nice thing about running into uh, that Custodian Grandmaster group is that they will no longer be unknown enemies now. I will see them on the list in missions where they would show up. And I can choose to skip those missions, maybe, or to prepare better for them. Anyway, here's the group. I did lose my frost bomb because Red Devil was carrying it, and uh, I had to remake one of my AP rounds, which was not a problem since I still have instant ammunition resistance order. So I have three again. And here's the group. We got Tarkin, Nyx, Manti, Clownfish, Mike, Chorange, and Clorf. I would really like to level up some of them. But yeah. Hey, I also gave Tarkin Viper rounds, because the debuff from Viper rounds is actually pretty good. That might even be a decent counter against the Omega. I still have Freeze from Serpent Armor, but that's not guaranteed to hit. We also got the Blaster Launcher on Tarkin and the Shredstorm Cannon on the Manti. So let's go then, shall we? Let's go. The resistance is sending one of their soldiers to help in the search. The VIP All right then. Resistance contact or so where are they exactly? Somewhere in this Not area. too far away, actually. Is locating them first. Bang! <laughs> Good nickname. Hopefully that's the Grenadier. That would be the best nickname ever for a Grenadier. 83 aim. Okay. 9 health, that's pretty good. 7 is decent as well, I suppose. And a VIP on the left. And we can see some enemies camping the extraction zone. Right, let's get started then. I'm on the move. I did bring the battle scanner, but I suppose we don't actually need one at the moment. Okay, that's a lot of enemies right away. I saw a gatekeeper over here. It's pretty tempting to use Sonic Bomb here, but no. Let's maybe move over to the right side. I don't necessarily want to fight everything all at the same time. Preferably not. You know, the funny thing is, I always say that, and then somehow I end up fighting half the map. Like, a lot of the time, I would say. Now, Chlorf will definitely need steady weapon, because his aim is kind of low. I might try to improve his aim for resistance orders still. In fact, I haven't checked resistance orders in a while. Wait! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, because we have a continent bonus to have a chance to get an advent unit for our squad, I actually got an advent custodian master. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> that's a pretty damn good mobile mimic beacon. He's not particularly fast, but that's kind of insane. Honestly, these guys should probably be excluded from that bonus. I don't think you should be able to get them. Just saying. <laughs> but hey, I won't say no. Still kind of funny though. All right. Well, here's another custodian. Yeah, that's quite a few enemies. I'll try to trigger only one group here, but I don't know how that will go. And they will also shoot the lost here. All right.
Yeah, this might get a little bit tricky. I don't think I will be able to fight only one pod at a time. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, now the mech is on Overwatch. I blame the Lost. Clearly it's their fault. Well, hey, we can use our mobile Mimic Beacon. The most badass mobile Mimic Beacon ever. Alright. A little bit of damage there. I'll also need to be careful with explosives. <laughs> to not kill the people we are supposed to rescue. Right. Well, I do have a Reaper on Tarkin. Probably not a very good idea to use it right here. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to shoot that Codex. It's an insta-kill on the Codex. I'm definitely taking it. I don't want it hitting me with that Sonic bomb crap. And now, well, good shot on the Lancer, I'll take it. A Thunderclap is actually better. We have a chance, a better chance to kill him with this. Yep. And this is a random target, but we only have one target. Nice. 15 damage without a crit. Yes, I see that. Uh, okay, what about our friend here? Cluster rockets. Okay, not a lot of damage, but pretty big radius. Uh, let's not trigger literally everything, preferably. But I will move forward a little. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of lost, that's fine. Uh, okay, well... I'm a little bit too far away to do that. I guess I'll just take a shot. Sure. His job is to absorb hits. That's it. Now, I'm a little bit far away to be effective. Also, Chlorv does not have a low profile. I need to keep that in mind. My other sharpshooters do. Can I kill that heavy mech? I suppose I could hack it. But not from here, I would have to move. Okay, what about Clownfish? Yeah, this is a bit awkward. I suppose I can move here. Will I be close enough to do anything? It doesn't look like it. Be this will be just outside of range, I think. Yeah, it is. It Overwatch. Then we can move Mike over here. And then he will have a line of sight to the mech. And let's try to shut down the mech. Hopefully that will actually work. I miss Ambrosine's skill right now. I really do. Because that would have been 100 easily. Yep, we got it. Okay, good. Because I don't want him using his missiles on me. My the chance of that is definitely lower, because he has some really easy targets. But it's still possible he would have done that. Now, I can grapple, but I can't grapple to the left, because then I will trigger that pod on the left. I don't really want to do that. I can shoot the gatekeeper. Yeah, I suppose I can. I don't think I can kill the gatekeeper on this turn. That's not gonna happen. I could use the blaster bomb. Just don't hit Chand with it. But I could use it. Not the best use of blaster bomb ever. Can a clownfish get a shot? No, he's too far away. He cannot get a shot uh, at the gatekeeper. So that's a little unfortunate. I can move up a bit with Tarkin here. And then move up with Clownfish. Right here. And we'll just overwatch. I don't really have any other option here. Overwatch. I think I would prefer to keep Tarkin concealed for now. And at the very least, I don't want to waste Blaster Bomb for this. It won't really achieve anything. It's not like I can kill the Gatekeeper on this turn. So really, there's no point using the Blaster Bomb right now. Even if I crit with this, that still won't kill the Gatekeeper. Yeah, it won't. 
It would be actually better to shoot the heavy mech, I think. I'm not guaranteed to hit the gatekeeper. And while the mech is stunned, I will still have to kill it on the next turn. So we can at least start doing some damage. That'll do. Okay, I did give a blow screen rounds. Uh, no, I didn't give blow screen rounds to anyone here, never mind. Uh, Overwatch just in case. I don't see how he would get revealed, but no downside to using Overwatch. Let's see what the gatekeeper is going to do. He is moving towards me. I do not like that. Shoot the lost. Or our custodian friend. Our custodian friend is by far the easiest target. Other than the lost. It didn't do anything, it just moved. Okay. Yeah, the other pod will trigger, but at least they won't be able to shoot me on this turn. It's not a very dangerous pod. A Spectre, Shaman and a Purifier. And I can take out the Shaman with a Disruptor Rifle. Uh, okay, yeah, Gateway. From the Gatekeeper, okay. It killed the Heavy Mech. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks for your assistance. Yes, shoot that loss really hard. Are we there yet? Okay, Mutant Destroyer. Oh yeah, he has that damper field crap, which is really, really annoying, because it makes them immune to explosives. I want to kill him for sure. And now we got a shield bearer as well. I'll have to burn through that shield probably. Yeah, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. I'll probably want to use Reaper after all. I mean, most of them already triggered. There's just one group all the way in the back. But I think I'm going to need a Reaper. I'll probably want the Mimic Beacon as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that guy is confused. Wait, how did the VIP lose health? Was it from Gateway? I think it was from Gateway. From the Gatekeeper. Can we get a turn already? You guys done? It would also help uh, if I grabbed our friends here. But easier said than done. In theory, I could do it while using Reaper. But that would probably trigger uh, the extra pod in the back. That damper field is going to be a big problem right now. Because I do have a lot of explosives. But now I can't really utilize them. Does the gatekeeper have it? I think he does. It doesn't say anything. Yes, it does. Damper field. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. And I don't know if I can kill that muton. I can try. Now I can grapple up here. It's not entirely safe. It's only partial cover. And again, Chlorf does not have low profile. But I think I need to try this. So this way we'll get high ground. Which one is the mutant destroyer? This one. I can try to crit him, but I'm not holding my breath. 70%? That's not terrible. It won't be enough though, but it will be good damage. Okay, let's take that shot, shall we? Please get a crit. Okay, yep, there it is. We actually killed him. Nice. And we got her trigger as well. Perfect. That is the best outcome possible. The best outcome possible. Okay, only purifier in range of frostbite. Not going to waste that here. Okay, well, I do have 100 on the custodian. But now they no longer have damper field, which means I can use my explosives. Now we could actually use the blaster bomb. Unless I want to use Reaper on this turn. I can kind of do both. With teamwork, I could actually do both. And I also have Rage Strike. I also have Shredstorm Cannon. 
Clownfish has a lot of stuff he can use. Wait, who had Shredstorm Cannon again? A Manti. Right, yeah, Manti. Or just a normal rocket. I think in this situation, a normal rocket is going to be better. Something like this. Slightly awkward angle here. Okay, yeah, slightly awkward angle. But if I move, my scatter will be really bad. Yeah, the problem here is that I probably will not hit the Custodian. And I would like to hit the Custodian. With Shredstorm Cannon, I would. Oh, I would also hit the Magma Viper. Hold on. <laughs> I would almost hit the VIP. He's almost close enough to it. So I think this is fine. I might blow up the truck, but I don't know if this one can actually blow up. <laughs> it's more of a wreck than a functional truck. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Shredstorm Cannon here. Especially since I can hit that Magma Viper and destroy its cover. Magma Vipers have a really nasty AoE attack with a burning component. So let's just go with this. We'll hit the Viper, the Custodian and the Gatekeeper. Uh, I can't hit the Psy... I can hit the Psy Zombie as well. Just make sure I'll hit the Viper here. Yes, okay, we'll hit the Psy Zombie and also the Magma Viper. Let's go. Go, go, Manti. First Shredstorm Cannon of the campaign. I love that thing. It's just so good. Okay, shield removed. Wait, did that actually kill the shield bearer? How? <laughs> okay, maybe it did. I wasn't even paying attention to the shield bearer. I mean, that was totally part of the plan. So now, the custodian shouldn't be a big threat right now. The gatekeeper is definitely bigger threat. He can do up to 12 non-critical damage. And now I can use the cluster rockets as well, because why not? It's not a tremendous amount of damage, but it's decent damage and a pretty big AoE. We have a yeah, yeah, we know. Alright, let's use it. I don't see why not. Let's go. There it is, 4 damage on everyone. And then what? Oh yeah, right, we didn't kill the shield bearer, we just burned through the shields. Uh, anyway. I don't think Reaper will do me that much good right now. Not really. No, not really. I could use the blaster bomb. That's the most damage Tarkin can do on this turn. Do I want teamwork before I do that? Yes, possibly. So if I'm going to kill the Gatekeeper, it will be with the Disruptor Rifle. Because that gets granted crits on Gatekeepers. It is considered a Sionic enemy. But I'm not guaranteed to hit it. Hopefully I will. Okay, there it is. 15. Now, Nex is also carrying the Mimic Beacon. I might not need the Mimic Beacon. But we got the guys on the left. Still, I can uh, teamwork myself and then use a Mimic Beacon if I want to. Because I am a little bit worried about being flanked by these guys. Not quite sure what the Shaman will do. I guess the Purifier is not a big problem. But I can't take out the Shaman or anything like that. Yeah, I can skull mine the Custodians, but... I don't think doing that right now is a particularly good idea. Unless I teamwork myself to get out, but I can't. I can teamwork Clorf, however. That might actually be better. Teamwork Clorf and then just shoot the Custodian. Okay, let's go with that. He can take another shot from the high ground. That's a lot of targets. It is definitely a target-rich environment. I can kill the Magma Viper. Yeah, let's take out the Magma Viper. I don't want to get hit by that AoE. Bye-bye. 
So that leaves us with... Okay, quite a few actions still. What about the clownfish? 60%, kind of low. Cyclic fire is a little bit tempting, but it's only 45% chance to hit. Not particularly good, but these guys have pretty high defense. It might still be a good idea anyway. I can teamwork Manti. Uh, that might be useful, he could shred him. But then I can't use Cyclic Fire, because this requires both actions. Okay, let's just use Cyclic Fire on this guy. Alright, that's... not bad. That was decent. I think 19 damage total? I'll take it. I could almost kill him on this turn. Not quite. So what about Nyx? I'm still considering that Mimic Beacon. I probably don't need it all that much, but I'm considering it. I'm a little bit worried about that Archon Shaman, and there's nothing I can do about him right now. I still have one teamwork. Yeah, I think I'll just pop the Mimic Beacon. It's probably unnecessary, but I'll feel safer <laughs> with the Beacon out. And we can still use teamwork to take one shot. Because I won't be doing anything with Tarkin on this turn. There it is, 11 damage, good. And that still leaves us with Mike. Yeah, just take a shot. I could aid the protocol someone, but that won't really do me that much good. I could aid protocol Chlor for something. Maybe. Even if I hit here, I will not kill the Custodian, and I got 0% chance to crit. So, okay, let's aid the protocol Chlor up here. Just in case. The Shaman might target him. So this might help. And I won't be doing anything with Tarkin right here. It wouldn't really achieve much. Okay, well, we now technically have two Mimic Beacons, <laughs> our mobile Mimic Beacon and a proper Mimic Beacon. However, thing is, Castorians have pretty high defense, so ironically, the enemies might not target him as much. Okay, great, he will throw the incendiary grenade. That's a little bit obnoxious, but alright. We'll heal him up. Here comes the Spectre. Okay, that's good, he's shooting the Lost. Should be a beacon or something. Just don't make yourself invisible. Okay, another shot. Another kill. Shoot the brute. Because he can't kill the brute. Go on. Okay, he's shooting the beacon. He didn't even kill the beacon. Right, uh, here comes a Narcon. That was a pretty big move right there. Custodian. So he will kill the beacon, that's fine. They can do quite a lot of damage with that attack. 10 damage. Shield bearer. Uh, okay, that's a bit rude. Yes, attack the Custodian, thanks. Hey, I will be able to use my melee attack with the Custodian. And that does a lot of damage. It's like 24 damage. If they get into your melee range, you're basically dead if they hit you. I think we can handle this from here. Hey, that 2 damage is actually helpful. I have quite a few people who can do 11. Wait, what? Uh, okay, that's kind of annoying. He took even more damage there, because he fell to the ground. How much health do you have? And Tarkin took damage, because the truck blew up after all. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this truck can blow up or not. But alright. He's still at 11. Clorf is at 6. And he cannot grapple anymore. Alright, we need some healing. 
I really wanted to level up Mike to get the plus two charges on the Gremlin Hill, if nothing else. Because he would get that at his next rank. Obviously, he wanted to get it from this mission. But it would be nice if he got it in some reasonable future. Right. Well, I can technically go back to the high ground, but that wouldn't be very good. Let's just move into full cover. Maybe shoot that purifier or something. Good to go. Uh, let's kill the Archon. Because I can actually get crates on the Archon. Where's the Archon? Here. It's a granted crate because a Shaman is a Sonic enemy. So I'm going for that, obviously. Adjusting Wait, what? You missed? Are you serious? Come on! That was what, a 94%? Uh, trolled by RNG again. Okay, one more. But this will not be a kill. We are too damage short because of that miss. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, hair trigger. Alright, I forgive you for missing because you got hair trigger. Somebody else can do that two damage. So, do I use Reaper now? Uh, yeah, maybe. Just don't set yourself on fire. Yeah, Reaper might be okay now. Let me check the damage, we would know. Uh, somebody is on Overwatch. Oh yeah, hold on. Tarkin doesn't care about that because he has Shadow Step. So he doesn't care. I could maybe kill the Archon if somebody hits the Archon. Who can Clorf shoot? Well, he can shoot the Purifier here. He can shoot the Shield Bearer. I think I'll shoot the Purifier. We have 50% chance to crit him. I'll take it. No crit, unfortunately. That's disappointing. Hey, what about our friend here? So, can he melee if I move? Yeah, he should be able to. Okay, let's do that then. Yeah, 20 damage. That is a lot of damage. So, how about that Reaper? Now I'm not totally sure if it's worth it. I think it's worth it if I can include the Archon. But somebody still has to kill the Shaman. I don't have Clownfish here. A Clownfish can actually shoot the Archon. I could Hail of Bolas the Archon, which is not a bad idea. It's 10 to 12 damage. So, if we do 10 damage, he'll be left with 14. Which is not enough for... No, actually, it is enough for Reaper. Okay. So even if I do the minimum damage with Halo Bullets, I will still be able to kill the Archon with Reaper. Let's go with that, then. Not quite sure how you're shooting it, but... Whatever. <laughs> Some special XCOM technology, clearly. Alright, let's pop Reaper. We'll kill the Archon. There you go. All right, let's go. No Overwatch because we have Shadow Step. Then we can kill the Shield Bearer and then Custodian, I think. Yes, I see that. So now Shield Bearer. Right? Uh, yes. Hold on, can I not melee the Custodian? Oh yeah, now I'm actually a little bit too far away because of all the lost around here. I might want to kill some of these lost. Yeah, okay, let's kill some of these lost because they are actually blocking the way. We have the ammunition. We can kill like one or two. Uh, that's too much HP. One health on the broad. Uh, let's kill this one. That should clear the way a little bit. So, Shield Bearer next. 
Yeah, see, now I could actually attack the Castorian. I will need more damage on the Castorian. But let's kill the shield bearer. Like so. And then somebody needs to shoot the Castorian. Probably Manti. That will remove the shield. So now I would do... Okay, six damage. So Manti could shoot the Castorian. I guess now I could use the rocket, but it feels unnecessary, to be honest. Let's just take a shot. That seems okay. There it is. Now I can definitely kill it with a Reaper. So let's do that. I still have a Rage Strike, but I'm not using it yet. So what do I do after I kill the Custodian? Uh, not sure yet. We'll see. Probably move into safety. You want some more? Okay, that was a pretty good Reaper chain, I would say. Now, we still got the Shaman and the Purifier. I can kill them both. Let's do that. Combat protocol? No, not needed. Alright, kill the Purifier. And then the Shaman. You want some more? This is my last ammunition. Would be nice to reload. But this is my last action, so I cannot really reload. Nope, I can't. We still got that Spectre over there. He's a little bit far away, but let's stay away from him. I'll just go here. Alright, yeah, let's kill the Shaman. I'm not leaving the Shaman alive, obviously. Just sucks about that miss earlier. Okay, here comes the Spectre. Wait, is he going to use... Yeah, Shadowbound on the Castorian. Okay, I kind of did not see that coming. But alright. I guess I'll have to kill him one way or the other. I didn't even know... Like, the Castorian will be a valid target for that attack. <laughs> but alright, alright. Pathfinder, I don't think I'll be picking up the load, but we shall see. Oh, piss off! And I'll have to kill that lost brood with 14 health. I will need more than one shot for that. I need a heal for Nyx. That much is obvious. Unfortunately, this is also my last heal. I really need the plus two charges. But he's not quite close to his next promotion, as you can see. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'll shoot that brood over here. Somebody will have to shoot the 14 health brood. As in, shoot it and not get the action refunded. So I guess it might as well be Mike. Sure, okay. And then somebody else will finish the job. Like Monty or something. He needs to reload anyway. Alright, finish it off. I definitely got that one. Okay, now I need to kill the Spectre. There's the Spectre, 76%. I can flank it, but... Okay, now I can flank it. Absolutely. Let's go. This should be better. And we'll have a much better chance to crit. Yep, that works. 100% now. Let's go. Nice. Not quite a kill, but a good crit. Now I can finish him off with one single damage. Back online. So anyone can do that. Looks like it will have to be Nyx. Or Clownfish. No, Clownfish can't. Okay, Nyx, that's fine. Doesn't really matter who it's going to be. Just kill it. How many is that now? Okay, that will give us our custodian friend back. Maybe he can do something. I don't think he can pick up the load. As far as I'm aware. Oh, actually he can! 
Alirum card, superior scope, alien data cache. That's nice. I actually have like a shortage of superior scopes. I could still use both superior scopes and uh, superior stock. Right, we did not trigger that yet. Uh, let's just shoot this fella. And the miss. Can I kill him? Maybe. I'm not going to waste rapid fire here. Just take a normal shot. It's a 48% chance to kill him, basically. Nope, missed. I think I can still kill him. Yeah, I can kill him, no problem. Bye bye. Check it before you get too close. So, Tarkin. Yeah, let's move forward a little bit. I still got the blaster bomb. That will come in handy for sure. And we have our two friends we're supposed to rescue. There's that Andromedon in the back with a sector commander. Okay. And now I need to move forward. Let's just stay in cover. Okay, let's go. I can't just camp over here. Yeah, I don't want to trigger anything yet because I have a limited amount of cover. <laughs> I wonder what happened with it. Hmm. No idea. I have absolutely no clue whatsoever what happened with recover. Yeah, the high ground is gone, basically. <laughs> I can use... No, I can't use the high ground. Not a problem. So let's set up with a steady weapon here. To make his chance to hit better. Uh, I don't want to move in just yet. Again, I don't want to trigger the group yet. So we'll stay where we are. Just overwatch. I'm on it. In case on, they decide push. to move towards us. Oh, yeah, they are coming. That's the sector commander. Okay. They are too far away for any more overwatch. And then there's still the pod that's camping the extraction zone. Wait, did they actually trigger? Because that looked a little bit weird. Now I'm not totally sure if they actually triggered. It doesn't say anything about active enemies. No, they actually did not. Okay. A little weird, but alright, alright. I can probably get our friend over here. Yeah, let's just move closer, but not trigger them yet. We are not on a timer or anything like that. So there's no huge rush, to be honest. Mike over here. Yeah, we'll move a bit closer with Clorv here. Something like this. He still looks like he's on fire, but he's not. Alright, steady weapon. I don't really want to dash, but we can stand over here safely. I'm just trying to be careful here. And over here. That looks safe as well. Okay, and then Overwatch. It would be best if they moved towards us right now. Yeah, I think they will. Come on. Nice hit. That will definitely trigger them. Yep. Alright, let's go. More overwatch. Go, go, go. Shred it. Nice. Perfect. Okay, no more shots, but yep, one more shot. Free damage from stock. Alright. And the last. Uh, right. Uh, let's get our friend here, I think. I have a Reaper back. Oh yeah, there's one more pod in the back, with an Andromedon, Mutant Beleaguer, Viper Elite, Codex. But I can get... no, wait. Yeah, no, if I trigger Chand, I will trigger the pod in the back. So let's not do that. I might just use the Blaster Bomb now. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. So we'll hit the Elite Lancer, Sector Commander and Andromedon. And the destroy the recover. Let's go. I'm not sure what I like more, the Blaster Bomb or the Shredstorm Cannon. They are good in different situations, they have different strengths. I like to have both. Okay, take out the Andromedon. Then we'll get the Shell. 
I'm a little bit too far away from the sector commander. Yeah, I need to move a tiny little bit closer to shoot the sector commander. Something like this. Yep, just don't miss. 3% chance to miss. Got it. Nice one. Okay, still got Clorv here. It would be nice if he got a kill on something. Yeah, just shoot the shell. And the mace. How many shots do I have? Okay, a bunch. I don't think the purifier is a threat because he's too far away to really do anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's too far away to do anything. Okay, Clownfish can shoot the shell. I don't really need to use rapid fire. We are better off saving that for that pod in the back. But I could use chain shot here to kill the shell. That will kill the shell as long as I hit. Okay, let's just chain shot the shell. And the second shot will take it out. Then I can shoot the purifier. Okay, so now Clorv can shoot the purifier. And the mace. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't a very high chance to hit. And the next can overwatch. Maybe we'll hit him when he runs towards us. Yes, we will. Nicely done. So that leaves us with one pod. Right here. Okay, lost are coming. Good timing on the lost there. <laughs> Actually pretty good timing. Right. Well, I guess I'll have to trigger them. But we can still move a little bit closer before we do that. Yeah, and reload. Okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah, let's just move a bit closer and reload. Something like this. Who needs a reload? Okay, most people kind of don't. Manti needs a reload. I can't actually see the pod right now. But I know this would be too close. Okay, Clorf needs a reload, but he also needs to be closer. Let's just dash and be closer. His low aim means that the penalty from range will make his chance to hit a bit too low, even with steady weapon up. I can move a bit closer, but not too close. Yeah, right about here is fine. Overwatch. Next can go here. And Overwatch. I still got the rockets. Okay, Overwatch in case they decide to move towards us here. Which they might. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, the other soldier we're rescuing is all the way over there. But we'll get Chand. So Chand is the Grenadier. I was hoping Bang would be the Grenadier. How many is that now? Okay, the last. Bit of a waste of Overwatch, but alright. It's dead. It has to be dead. Yes, it's dead. I don't think uh, these guys will move. I'm pretty sure they won't. They would have moved earlier. Yes, I see that. Alright, well, it's time to move in, I guess. Let's go. We'll get our friend here. That's, one of the That's a lot of lost. For, but there are Wait, how did we still not trigger them? What? Okay, that's actually kind of funny. That's actually pretty funny. Do I want to trigger them? I don't know. Okay, there they are. How did I not... Wait, I still didn't trigger them. Okay, this is actually kind of hilarious. It's just like a weird line of sight here. Maybe we can get an ambush on them after all. That would be pretty funny. 
if I could do that. Okay, that would actually be pretty funny if I could get an ambush. Fine. Let's back up. All right, what the heck? Let's try to get an ambush. I wish I had more cover around here, but alas, unfortunately, I do not. Let's do this. Oh yeah! I'll try to get an ambush here. Oh, so yeah. reload, then steady weapon. I probably wouldn't if there was a timer, but there's no timer, so it doesn't really matter. What's the range on my rocket here? Uh, yeah, it's mostly line of sight issue. I don't have javelin rockets, so range is good. I still have two uses of teamwork on Manti and Clownfish. Reloading. That will probably come in handy on that last pod. Alright, let's overwatch and see if we can get this. Scanning. Most of it will probably get triggered by the Lost, but maybe not. Will they see me? Yes, they will. Okay, good. We will get Overwatch. Let's go. Come on. Do some good damage. Miss the target. Yes, yes, you did miss the target. Come on. Can we take out the Andromedon? Let's go, people! Okay, I was hoping for a bit more damage than that. That's disappointing. It wasn't terrible, but kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I guess now we need a rocket. Maybe a grenade from our new grenadier friend. One more shot. Oh yeah, now it's the lost. Yeah, now I'm definitely going to use a rocket. Basically all the explosives I got. Yeah, there's the codex. Wait, did it just clone? Yeah, it did clone. Oh, that's pretty annoying, but all right. So, I do have a Reaper, so I can use that. I guess I can move closer. The plan is to kill most of them, so it shouldn't really matter that I'm close. And there aren't any other enemies. Okay. This is not as good as I hoped. Let's hit the Andromedon and the Mutant Beleaguer here. Yep. That sounds alright. Okay, let's go. We'll shred some armor. Unfortunately, this will not destroy Andromedon's cover. Because I wasn't targeting it. Now... Yeah, I need to think about this. How much damage would the Reaper do right now? I can actually target Mutant Beleaguer, because this guy does not have counter-attack. This would kill him! So, I think Reaper right now. Heck yeah! Quiet. Reaper it is then. We'll kill the Mutant. We can also get our friend here right away. So, let's go with that. Uh, what class was he? A uh, Technical. Got the Reaper. I guess Bang is still a good name for a technical. Yes, indeed. So I can take out the Andromedon. We also got a Codex here and the Viper Elite. I need one damage on the Viper Elite. I can kill the Codex, but Codex only has 6 HP. We should do that later. Let's take out the Andromedon. Then somebody can take a shot at the Viper Elite, and then Tarkin can take out the Viper Elite. And he should still have enough damage left to take out the Codex for 6. So that's kind of the plan. Now I need somebody to shoot the Viper. Cover shouldn't really matter, because I plan to kill most of them. Famous last words. But I don't need to move closer, otherwise I will not have line of sight. Okay, yeah, I will just probably kill the Viper, to be honest, which is fine. No, I won't. 10 damage. That's alright. So, back to Tarkin. What's our chance to hack the shell? 80% shutdown, 40% control. So, now we can kill the Codex here. 
and that's a lot of lost. Yeah, there's the Codex. So kill the Codex, that's 7 damage. Then I can kill the Viper. We even got a crit, which was totally unnecessary. Alright, now I can kill the Viper. Let's go with that. Yeah, now we're down to 2 damage. That was a pretty damn good Reaper chain. The last attack will be 1 damage. So I used it to its maximum efficiency, more or less. Yeah, now I can just back up into cover, or I can still use an attack. I can Sonic Bomb this crap. I will be a little bit close to all these lost, but I assume I'll kill them. Oh yeah, I still have Rage Strike. I can Rage Strike uh, the Shell, or I can Rage Strike one of the lost. Okay, let's Raid Strike the Shell. Something like this. That works. Okay, and then we can use Sonic Bomb on it. And on some of the Lost. Wait, I can actually kill some of the Lost as well. Uh, 95. Okay, kill this one because I won't be hitting this one with Sonic Bomb. Uh, does it need, like, minimum ammunition? Not sure it doesn't say anything about that. It just says one action. Nothing about minimum required ammunition. Kill the loss behind us. I have a lot of ammunition here, so might as well. So I'll be doing this. One more lost. And this guy in the back. Yeah, this guy, and then Sonic Boom. Who's keeping score? Okay, and then Sonic Boom right here. All right, go, go, go. Totally balanced ability. One health on the shell. Okay. We still got the Codex on the left. I guess I'll just have to shoot it. Done. Kill the shell. So wait, did the codex? Oh yeah, we killed the clone already, right. Uh, that's everything dead. Other than the lost. Yep, so we're basically done. That was a pretty fun mission. We'll kill the lost, grab the VIP, and then get out of here. Yep, we killed everything now, there's nothing left. All right, grab the VIP and let's get the heck out of here. Menace one five, you've got the primary targets in. Yeah, yeah, we know. Any additional operatives if possible, but make sure you get our contacts to the evac. We will make sure, Bradford. Don't worry. All right, time to get out. Double. I'm not sure if anyone got a promotion here. Already there. And not that I can tell. All right, everyone, get onto the boat. Yeah, I don't think anyone got a promotion. <laughs> we can bring the custodian master with us. Double time. It would be interesting if you could keep them. Yeah, that wouldn't be very balanced. Nyx is actually getting kind of close-ish to Colonel. Monty is getting close-ish as well. Double time. Maybe like two more missions. And Clownfish is getting close uh, to Brigadier. Rolling out. Okay, Mike needs 14 more. Might be Doabo in one mission, and if not, probably Doabo in two missions. One mission might be a bit of a stretch. Uh, yeah, one mission is probably a stretch. Alright, let's get out. We, get the rest of our people to the extraction we are getting them. Possible. Don't worry. Around, the worse our chances look. Calm down, Bradford. Our chances are looking pretty damn good to me, I'm just saying. Okay, one more turn. Are we there yet? What's over there? Alright, done. 
I'm not extracting the Castorian because I don't want that to crash the game or something like that. <laughs> I don't want to risk that happening, is what I'm saying. All right. Oh, actually, I still have to move him? Uh, okay. Sure. Can I interact with this? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess we're extracting him after all. Operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Five soldiers wounded, but it wasn't a lot of damage. They should recover pretty quickly, in a few days max. To return us to the cave I'll have to watch my roster size, because I think now I'll be at 53 or 54 out of 55. And I cannot increase my roster capacity anymore. Yeah, no promotion, but we got some important experience. Alright then. So let's check out our new acquisitions, shall we? Yes, let's. We are at yeah, 53 out of 55, like I said. Just need to be careful about that. Do they have a good compatibility? Uh, okay. 8.9 with Soto. Interesting. Who else was he compatible with? Oh yeah, Milamber and uh, our new Templar. 9.4. Wait, is that the Templar? Uh, yes. Okay, they have higher than uh, default combat intelligence. Above average. Let's see then. Gunkata on the Grenadier. A bit weird, but all right. Blistering Rapture. That sounds nice. Uh, just going to check out the technical here. A hail of bullets. Bullet Rave. A burst of wild shots, woefully inaccurate but capable of considerable damage. If enough shots connect. Okay, fires at a single target three times. Each shot has a greatly reduced chance to hit. All right. Uh, anyway, fire in the hole, biggest bombs, I'm not taking no napalm, it's not worth it, I'm not going to use it much. He can get phantom, that would be a bit weird for a grenadier, but he can get phantom. Uh, Shredder, obviously, yeah, probably resilience, uh, javelin rockets, salvo, and then we'll take hail of bullets. That leaves me with 12 points. So either Phantom or Bullet Rave. I suppose I can test Bullet Rave. Sure, we can test that. Okay, looks good. Now the Grenadier. So, needle grenades. It's not as useful outside of Long War of the Chosen. I guess I can take Sapper. Okay, why the heck not? Uh, heavy Ordnance, but probably Center Mass as well. Boosted Cords. Shredder. Yeah, I do like Hit Warheads as well, but definitely Shredder. Uh, biggest Bombs. Volatile Mix. So he's left with 24 APs. I like Salvo, so he could take Salvo. I don't like having Chain Shot available, at least. But I also like Center Mass. I can't take everything that I like here. Blistering Rapture would cost me 25. But honestly, that might be a good pickup. Especially against the like Exalted Custodians with 70 HP. I'm actually going to grab that. Okay, I suppose that's acceptable. I'll miss out on Salvo, but I can live without that, I guess. And I'll miss out on Chain Shot. But that's alright. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what's next. We got six more days uh, on the uh, Sealed. I think that's the last research I need in the Shadow Chamber other than the Avatar Autopsy, which is last. We'll get close command protocol for the Sparks in three days. 
Right, so uh, let's check our wounded people. I have nine wounded people. How many days are numbers? 17. I'm just going to scan on the Templar HQ to get them back faster. For the Arctic. I'm going to need my best people for most missions from now on, probably. Jailbreak faction soldier. Yeah, I don't really need that anymore. Although I wouldn't mind another Reaper, to be honest. We can get plus one health for someone. Okay, I guess I wouldn't mind another Reaper. I can also always decide to not do the follow-up. Yeah, let's just send like Stanley and Grim or something. That sounds fine to me. Alright, I'm not giving you that. Okay, this is fine. Oh yeah, I can give them Advent Disguise. I can also make the Holographic uh, Disguise thing. No idea how expensive that is. One Spectre Corpse, 38 supplies. Okay, I can make one at the moment. Sure, let's make one, I guess. So, Holographic Disguise. Minus 18 infiltration hours. All right. And the uh, Advent Sealed for Grim. There it is. Okay, 7 days, 7 hours. That's not too bad. And we'll get plus 1 Four HP on Stanley. Uh, let's check covert operations really quick. Hold on. There's no free promotion here, right? Yes, there is. Okay, who do I want to promote the most? That's a good question. That's a good question. Someone who just got promoted recently to make the most use of it. 123. 122. Yeah, I need to think about this. I could promote a long strider. I could promote Cruiser to have another gunner available. Not sure if I want to use it on a captain, to be honest. What about the colonels? Maybe. One hundred twenty-two out of one hundred seventy-five. Okay, before I decide, uh, let's check what he would actually get out of it. Uh, what would Barney get out of it? In terms of abilities. Right, Salvo, Tactical Sense, Quick Burn, Volatile Mix. Okay, interesting. Let's check some others. So, non technicals. What about Long Strider? What would he get out of it? Multi targeting, Hunter's Instincts, Special Shot against most enemies. Who have taken any damage. Any critical hit kills them, but regular hits do half damage. Requires two actions and has five turn cooldown. That is pretty interesting. I would like to get a Brigadier for sharpshooters eventually. Who else is nowhere close? What would Ava get out of it? Because he's nowhere close. Any unit seen... Oh yeah, target definition. That is nice. Hit and run. Whirlwind. If you hit with a melee attack during your turn, gain a bonus move. Oh, that's actually amazing. Uh, let's send Ava. That is actually pretty down nice. And he's not really close to a promotion. So it works. Alright, you will go. Right here. Yeah, he's at 123 out of 175. They start at 110, I believe. At this rank. Yeah? Yeah, at 110. So he only got 13 experience so far. Alright, just don't give him any extra gear. 
and one more person, someone lower rank. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. 61 out of 70. Just checking my Templars right now. Uh, well, we have our new Templar here. Oh yeah, with the Blade Storm. Okay, I guess Blade Singer can go. And just remove the gear. Not sending you with a Dark Claw, that would be bad. Alright, off you go then. We'll get the job. Anything else I might want to do? Probably not. Okay, probably not. Breakthrough research. Oh yeah, all assault rifles now deal plus one damage. I would like that. Okay, I would obviously like that. Plus one mobility. So, plus one mobility would be good for a shinobi. This will take a while though. Yeah, this will take a while. I don't think I want to send anyone higher rank. Because I'll need them for actual missions. 11 mobility shinobi is pretty bad. Okay, let's send a Cyberman. We can add a scientist, that's fine. And uh, that's optional, but we can send someone. Okay, that will take 20 days. So it will take a while, but I'm still doing it. Just give them some disguise. Still got Advent disguise here. And some civilian clothes. Okay, that looks fine to me. We will begin the covert. That's enough, I don't want to start too many of these things. That's four of them at the same time, that's definitely enough. And we still have seven wounded people. Dom is back, Bob is back. What's this? Oh yeah, that's probably the... No, it's not. Resistance informant. I don't really care about that. It's not really worth it. I would have to do two missions to save two weeks on the retaliation counter. That's not worth it. And now we are staying at the Templar HQ for now. Okay, Tarkin. There's the dark event. Yeah, there's the retaliation. How bad is it? Uh, not too bad, Berserker Omega, okay. So that will be a little bit trickier now, but I can still handle it, I think. I guess it will be a good test of how I can handle it without the Frost Bomb. Okay, Infirmary is still occupied. Well, I guess we'll be doing the retaliation, but that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, to hack the Advent Network, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.